Welcome Aries to your love reading for January the 14th to the 20th of 2019. All right, got to make sure I get the 19 out. <laughs> the last few readings I've been seeing 2018, but we are well into the year now. Um, this is the just going to be the second week or third week, third week. Yeah, third week. Well, yeah, third week. January got like I think like four and a half weeks in it, so. We're going to see what's going on with you. So in love for Aries. See what's going on with you. Aries in love for 14th to the 20th. So overall energy. What might you experience in love for Aries? Ten of Swords. Uh, somebody is letting you down. Um, you feel like uh, things might not be going your way. A lack of communication. Sometimes you feel like you're just being bombarded by communication from somebody that you don't want to communicate with or the fact that your partner might not be really paying you any attention you know feeling like that so the ten of swords is here usually an indication of some kind of ending that you could be going through um let's let's clarify ten of swords though clarify ten of swords for Aries. um the four of cups this could be you or another person that you might be dealing with as well where you might not be accepting the connection or you're not might not be wanting it and that has your partner kind of pull away as well so both of you could be going through that as well um, for instance if you were if you feel like something is coming in the middle between you and your partner you might feel like you're being betrayed or stabbed in the back by somebody so you might be shutting that down because of some kind of confrontation that could be part of it uh, for some all right um, let's see what might be your love interest or partner what might you be bringing towards you physical actions towards you Aries for your partner or love interest um, they might not be coming towards you and that's why you might be feeling a bit um, uh, down all right the five of cups is an indication of feeling uh, lost or feeling like you're going through a loss some of you may have moved on from somebody uh, and if someone if you're dealing with somebody else who's disconnected from another person they're still mourning the loss of whoever that might be all right um, three five of five of cups for the person coming towards you Yeah, and that person is a bit reckless. Um, the Knight of Swords in reverse is an energy where they could be really frustrated by you, by another person. If how I kind of see this is someone that you've dealt with, they may have been dealing with someone else, right? And if they were ending that relationship, they may have told that person to leave, go away, you know, stop talking to me, stop reaching out to me, whatever. Um, and then they're dealing with those emotions of having to tell that person to go away and that person does not look in your way um, right now so then you feel like you don't even want to open up to that person at all um, that could be the part of the scenario some of you have turned somebody down they're feeling that um, that deep emotion you know the sadness and the re regret or whatever and they're not wanting to speak so it could be um, anyone um, air sign is showing up all right uh, what is your response for Aries I love and you because that person is not giving you attention you're not feeling all that happy you're not feeling playful you're not really wanting to go out you're not wanting to um accept any invitations um this could be you know delays in communication not feeling all that happy and secure with yourself with um whatever you may have planned there could be some um, obstacles there so um that might be an issue some of you may have have issues with children um children being bad you could have family members whoever could be involved in your situation you could be dealing with a partner who has a child as well for some who um might be having a focus on their child and maybe someone else that they're dealing with and then that could cause you to be um a bit um, reckless as well because you're frustrated by that um for some and let's see what might your what do you want what do you want this from your partner what do you want or love interest is some of you might um, the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse, so this is another um, Earth sign. It could be male or female, but this is an indication of the home environment not being how you want to. Maybe you want them to move out. Maybe you want them to move, and maybe you want them to have a stable environment for both of you in some way. But if this is in this in this way, um, that might be someone who you're dealing with who could be using you. Um, you could be frustrated in that way. You could be wanting them to leave. Um, someone that they might be living with right now so that could be an issue there so something financially might be um i'm um, happening between you and your love interest or partner all right i see three people here so far all right um 
clarify. Well, what does your partner want from you or love interest? Aquarius. The devil. Um, the devil is showing up, and if they want this from you, let's clarify the devil. Let's see. Clarify the devil. The seven of wands. Um, that's frustration. All right. E extreme frustration when they they want to express themselves. They want to defend what they feel and what they want to express to you, but they might be holding things back. Um, clarify the devil again for Aries. The partner person. They want. From. Some of you, um, you might be so frustrated. There are two things coming through, right? Um, where some of you have let someone go. They might want to let you go as well, but they have a tough time doing so. They have a tough time standing up or trying to um, express why they want to do so. So some of you might be frustrated right now. And I feel like that person is a energy of being so angry or having a lot of pent up energy and emotions for you. Um, they're not really sure how to do it so it's part of like going through a divorce or divorcing themselves from the situation and that's why you um, it's almost like a breakup or something that might be happening and it's like they're attached and but they want to leave at the same time all right for some um, if you're dealing with a marriage I feel like that person um, they might want to move on but they're not sure how both of you are going to get out of the equation out of this connection it may have been for um, a while that you two have been together so that might be an issue um, what is the best advice for Aries? The 14th to the 20th of January 2018. King of Cups is showing up. And this is a person, a um, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer that you might be focused on, thinking about. Um, the advice is to be emotionally accessible. Maybe uh, speak to this person. They might affect you in some way. Let's clarify, though. Um, Good vibes, you know, healing energy for some of you out there. Could be a family member, could be a love interest, a partner. Clear how the King of Cups for yours. You have the Page of Cups. This is a, a relationship that's there with this person uh, for some of you. And it's, um, you might have a child with this person, but there is something that you may want to accept. This seems like there's something, there's a lot of people here showing up, right? So there could be another person or just energy that is in a situation. And when the Ten of Swords is showing up, that's some kind of betrayal that might be there for some. Um, I feel like a lot of you might be in a relationship with somebody. I don't want to say a, um, it's automatic a word or sign, but they're showing up here. Um, an older person, then you have a younger person as well. And you can see that you might be offering a relationship to that person, but they might not be uh, seeing it in some way. All right. Um, so uh, I feel like you need to maybe open up to that person or express yourself or accept it or have faith in a connection um, and using intuition as well. And let's see what might be the, um, so that's the advice, obstacles. The past is an issue. Um, often things cropping up from the past, someone you might be focused on for some that might return often. Um, that could be an issue with the family, children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries. Obstacles. And then the Knight of Wands is showing up. Um, one more. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aries. So that's another fire sign. Um, a lot of you might have a. Um, it seems like a change of maybe environment when you get this the six of cups is the home environment and then you get the knight of wands it's energy of um, energy of travel or um, relocating or something that may have happened in the past um, when it comes to sexual things things like that they may have happened communication coming out about it with the ace of swords showing up so you know has there been some kind of temptation or something from the past that happened that blocks progress or something that kind of comes up um, that might be an issue there with some of you. So, um, I feel like you gotta be. Let's see what comes out here when I do the uh, romance angels cards to um, give you some more advice and love for Aries. So, the uh, 14th to the 20th, 2019, January. Aries. Do we have let go control issues that allow the situation to unfold naturally? Um, with all that I expressed to you just now, and if you feel like you're um, not able to do certain things, if you feel like you tried already, if you haven't done something, maybe that's something that you need to do. Um, maybe take the advice, but if you tried everything, um, it tells you to let go because there's nothing that you really can do about something that's really frustrating you if they're not opening up or if you feel too afraid or if you feel um, 
something that's kind of happening over and over again you have to maybe make some changes and control issues maybe that's literally a problem maybe you or your partner might have with one another so um let's see one more all right four years four, 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 14th to the 20th and then religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing a spiritual path um so this might be your family um Whoever you may have been dealing with, maybe issues there, it could be background, what you believe in, um, things like that, that you might feel like it's controlling your decisions and making a decision when it comes to your um, or connecting with somebody that might be frustrating to some of you out there. Um, sometimes you might not marry if it's if you conflict. Um, if there's a lot of conflict over those issues, what you believe in, what they believe in, um, it doesn't have to be that way at all. Um, but some of you might be having that kind of stance. So uh, one more card for Aries. I then we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Um, not only does the religious thing um, pop up there, but it could be just what others might think about you what they believe um what you feel how you feel you're going to be portrayed by other people if something was to come out if you were to make a change or do something different so that might be an issue there and that's why you might be affected by it and the person that you're dealing with both of you seem to be um having an issue there with coming together so um you know if you let those things hold you back then you know these things can go on and on so i feel like you um maybe need to address some issues that if you can you know so that's going to be a reading i hope the messages did help out tons of love lots of light to you tons of family vibes i wish you the best and you can always go to the website psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for you so have a good one